I'd actually get to the boss, that's it. <sighs> Alright, sorry. Let me see if I can do this. We get... <laughs> Tom seems wiser than John, then immediately afterward. Tom, give us some more of those crazy sound effects. <laughs> Uh, at least I made it to the boss. But this boss is obnoxious, so this is where my game ends, right here. So I'm sorry, guys. That alternating line of bullets. Jesus Christ. Someone wanted to know your middle name, and somebody responded with, it's Chris Redfield. <laughs> Fuck. I can kill one polarity, I might be okay. No, I'm speeding up. Shit. Taking stabs at what your middle name is. I see Carlton. That is my actual middle name. Really? Ooh, ah! Mine is Cho. Damn it! That's it. Out of credits. Jonathan? Is it Jonathan or just John? Jonathan. Jonathan Carlton Wheeler. Yep. My dad's name is Carlton. Has a nice class to it. I like mm. it. Oh well. I wonder if I played long enough to actually get an extra credit. Nope. Now we'd like yeah, to know a dot eater run of this game, you don't get to stop any of those. Yeah. Fuck well, at least they go slower because it's a dot eater though. You gotta you gotta work hard at, uh, at school in order to get extra credit. <laughs> really? Yeah. You, that's what you gotta do. Uh, I guess save and load's probably what I'm looking for. Auto save on. Yeah, only 37 minutes clocked. J Jonathan Carlton Chris Redfield Wheeler. I, I like that. That's very classy. Uh, you know what? We've actually got enough time to do another run of it. Oh dear. Should we try one more time? Or should we go to something else? Or should we just do Q&A? Yes. You guys want me to do one more run of it, or you just want to do Q&A for like 15 minutes? Oh, someone says Dot Eater, do it, do it. I need a straw poll on this one. Go for one more, cookie, cookie, one more, one more. Yeah, well, I think we're actually going to need to drop on this one. It's kind of everywhere. Dan's still in the chat. Uh, Dan, if you're still in the chat, can you make it uh, one proper run, one dot eater run, cookie, Q&A? Make those the four options. That's dot eater, normal, Q&A, cookie. Oh, I can actually practice chapter three though, that's the thing. So this is a five chapter game, so basically we were at we were past the halfway point. That mini boss of stage three was the halfway point. Make a straw pull if there should be a straw pull. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it practicing chapter one meanwhile. Because I think that adds time, so I'm just going to like let it fly through. That's kind of funny. Wii U has more next-gen 1080p 60 frames a second games than Xbox One or PS4. Really? 
Yeah. Oh wait, never mind. This report came out around the time that the Xbox One and PS4 were coming out. Oh, well then, that's then, yeah, dumb. Yeah, that, that, that explains it. EA putting fools in The Sims 4 would like animating women in Assassin's Creed. It's hard. Oh man, really? Like, ne there's never been a pool in a Sims game before. Yeah, apparently it's using the Sim City engine, which doesn't react with pools very well. Don't know what that means, but. All right, straw polls currently with only like 331 votes, though. It's a low voting one, but uh, half the people want another cookie. I will point out, this is the last cookie of the night regardless, and it'll probably be a Q&A and cookie. Actually, no, there's no probably. It will be Q&A and cookie. It's a cook and a I'm going to try and stop mixing things together. Go out on a high note. You're trying to pick a game? Yeah. All right. Is a game called Brawl Brothers? Uh, yeah. Oh, I use that as a as a sort of nickname for Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Uh, Brawl Brothers is like a old beat 'em up, or I think it might be yeah fighting game slash beat 'em up. I think. Crap, why did I move the controller? It was a bad idea, I didn't mean to move. Yeah, it's gonna be cookie. I'm just waiting for this stage to end so I can save and add a little bit of extra time to the game. The yellow C next to the game names means you've done everything, right? The what? Yellow C. Yeah, oh, yeah that, me that means complete. Alright. Okay. I'd rather not pick a game that you've beaten to death. Your play rank, Dot Eater! Yay! Did that even have time to the clock? Oh, no, it did. Sweet. Every hour in this game, you get another credit. So, uh, last... When I originally used to play this game a bunch... Uh, I don't remember if it was the XBLA version, or if it was the uh, Dreamcast version. I want to say it was the Dreamcast version. I used to play a bunch. So unfortunately, I don't have anything with a lot of credits unlocked on it. I don't even think my... Because I lost my XBLA save, so I think even that's down around this point. <laughs> I love your comment on unit racers. How the hell did I not have this one? That's true. I thought I had it for the longest time. And then uh, one of my friends was like, you don't own unit racers. It's like, what? Great game. It's a really good game. Love unit right. racers. It's very obvious that Cookie won, so let's add a cookie. I'm that's horrible cool. at it, but it was still a good game. Actually, does just sitting around add time to the clock? I don't think it does. No, that's what I thought. Playtime only. 
worth checking. Final round of Cookie of the Night. First, g oh god damn it! Really, <sighs> RPG right off the bat. Well, at least it wasn't a Zelda game. True. Burnout Three Takedown for the Xbox. It was an Ease game, so so Zelda-ish. <laughs> New Super Mario Brothers for the DS. Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge for the Game Boy Advance. I forgot that game even existed. Dranikos says it's eight hours for infinite credits in Ikaruga, by the way. Okay, thank you, Dranikos. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube. That's a pretty good list. Mm, strong list, yeah. Let's see what the final game ends up being. Final game for the randomness is... Oh, can't do that. That one would take forever. It's Disgaea 3. Oh, jeez. Uh, Devil May Cry 3 for PS2. Good lord. This is a strong list. And Tom, what is your choice? Uh, super Super Monkey Ball Two. Super Super Monkey Ball Two for GameCube. It's gonna is, get e it's gonna get eaten alive by the other one. I, I don't know, man. This list is everywhere. And people are telling the honest truth. Don't pick Sonic Adventure Battle 2. He's terrible at it. Because I'm the only time I've ever played it has been for cookies. And since there's a break, I'll check this sound file, see if it works. That is not what I expected. Was it a... Uh, Just... Oh ah, that is... Hard on the ears. Holy crap! Was it Banjo Kazooie Grundy's Revenge, uh, like a, a alternate timeline story? Yes, it's actually like a spin-off of after the first game, I think. Yes. Yeah, also, I the straw pull so. is up, so I can't believe what I'm looking at right now. I'm gonna vote for this, and I bet you it's yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Super Monkey Ball 2 is winning currently. Is, were you honestly expecting that to be I, ahead? I was actually. People, huh. people like Monkey Ball. All right, Monkey Ball 2 has got 28% of the vote. Devil May Cry 3 is 25. Sonic Adventure 2 has 17. Grunty's Revenge has 14. Mario Brothers has 10. Burnout has 6. Right Good now, there, there's about a 14 vote gap between Devil May Cry 3 and Monkey Ball 2. Try so hard and uh, I just caught myself in a pun there. Nope, not doing it. <laughs> it wasn't even a pun, it was literally just the title of the game. <sighs> Running out of power. Yep, it's getting late. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. my time. I can't imagine how you're still holding up. <laughs> We're gonna give it one more minute, but it's looking like it's gonna be Monkey Ball. Uh, one of two ways: a, I don't get uh, a lot of sleep, or b, I sleep late. Forty-five seconds left on the clock. Devil May Cry 3 is going to need a big push to win, and with the delay, it might be too late, but it's up to you if you guys want to try it. There's a 4% gap right now, which is about 19 votes, actually. Not too many votes in on this fortune cookie. 30 seconds left. They were kind of winding down it, though. Yeah. Dan apparently knows all about Grunny's Revenge. Holy crap, look at that. Yep. goes back what is it Grunty actually goes big it's a time travel thing huh that sounds right actually seven seconds five seconds yep there's no devil may cry push time is up uh -huh. the next game we play and the last game we play on fortune cookie and also our q a game 
Super Monkey Ball 2 for the GameCube. I'm going to go get the game set up, and we'll be back for Q&A and the final game of the night. See you guys then. Uh, okay, so it's not actually alternate timeline. It's just it's a spin-off game that ultimately leads back into going into Banjo Tooie. Ah, uh, okay. Super Monkey Ball Two. Wow, that's that plot is actually really phoned in. I can't imagine that getting good ratings. What? Yeah, no, not really. Ban well, uh, it's Brian also I don't even think it was made by. Rare. It was made by THQ. Yeah, that's what I thought. Huh. Sticking with GameCube tonight. Look at that. Yeah, how many GameCube games have we had tonight? Uh, that we've played, I think only two. No, three. Oh. This would be the third, actually. All right. Three. I think three. Of the last. Well, I was gonna say four, but then I realized Battletoads and uh, other game we played, and uh, pa Power Rangers were both Genesis. Genesis. Jesus, Super Nintendo. Wow, my brain is melting tonight. Q and A is gonna be fun. Based on how well I'm English languaging. <sighs> it oh, it was developed by Rare, but published by THQ. Okay, that's what it was. That makes sense. Such a casual catch for that pitcher. Just, oh, grab down. I, I know, that's the best part about it. That's why it's so funny. He's just like, whoosh, whoosh. Did you catch that? The nodding. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, none of them believe it, too, is the best part. Like, Bowman's like, holy shit, that just happened. <laughs> I like how it literally just sets up for the next, uh, the next batter. It's like, hey, I already got the ball. Let's go. Yeah, I think that's the best part about it, is how casual he is about it. Gotta love that zoom on Duke's crotch. Ah, I forgot how funny that video was. <laughs> Super Monkey Ball 2 Sakura Edition? What the fuck is that? Is this something you have? No, that's what came up on uh, Twitch when I typed in Super Monkey Ball 2. Huh. John, you listen, I'm drunk in your neck. Dave, why are you drunk? Also, why am I next? I don't... That's not how that works, Dave. He's just gonna come over with a beer bong and some rope. Dave lives close enough to me that he could actually walk here before the stream is over. Oh, dear. But just Dave be Dave doesn't know my address, I don't think. <laughs> before, we're d before we're done, you just hear on the, on the door, doo, 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 John, I'm here. Oh, no, the best part is, like, it's super late in the building, so you can't, you can't even get to the intercom. Because oh. the intercom is locked behind a door that closes at like 11 o'clock. It's really weird. And let's give him some power. Last game of the night. This is also a Q&A game. So if you have any questions for Tom or myself, ask them in the chat and Tom will read them out and we will answer them. John, will you be doing any Super Smash Bros. 4 videos like you did for Brawl? I do not know. Uh, depends on who I'm playing games with at the time and if they're interested in doing videos like that. Uh, what most people don't realize about those Smash Brawl videos we did, we recorded about 40 of them and I kind of cherry picked the best ones. Uh, John, whatever happened to the playing Pokemon YLP slash stream uh, nights? Um, that will still happen. I just need, it's going to be after packs. 
But I guess the problem is after pat no, oh, this September. We might start them in September. We'll see. Have you ever heard of Steambug Chronicles? Uh, I have not. I have. I don't know if I own a copy of it. I'm looking back at my wall. I... Soikoden, Stelladeus, Street Fighters. I don't own it. Uh, someone's asking if we'd seen the new TM TMNT movie. I thought that wasn't out yet. Uh, that came out last weekend. Oh. I thought the poster said it came out September 11th. Is that a joke? I'm not kidding. There was a poster that said that it was coming out September 11th and them jumping out of an exploding building. What the fuck are you describing, Tom? A TMNT post, movie I, poster. I have, not seen, I have not seen this. I have zero play points, apparently. Information. Yep, here it is. You found the poster? Yeah. Yeah, link that in the chat, too. Holy shit! Holy shit! You weren't kidding at all! I, nope. I For posterity, I'm putting this on desktop cam. He wasn't kidding! September 11th, right at the... Right at the bottom here. It was removed like very quickly, but not quickly enough that people can can grab a shot of it. Jesus. Why did the movie also come out a month early? Probably so it wasn't on September 11th. Maybe. Tom Beltrus, you madman. Uh, I'm I'm not I'm not Tim. <laughs> Auto save on. Thank you. Tim Tim is very talented at burping. The only person I know who's better is villain. Have either of us seen Guardians of the Galaxy yet? I have not. I have. I really liked it. It was really good. I might go and see it tomorrow. It looks really good. Probably the one movie I'll actually go to a theater and see. <laughs> Oh man, this game has a story mode. Oh, it comes out on September uh, September 11th in Australia, but it just oh. reached uh, cross seas. Okay, that makes sense now. Let's see, where are you gonna try playing first in Smash Four? I don't know because I've already tried out a bunch of characters in Smash Four. Um, Little Mac would have been my first guy to try out, but like, I mean. I already know how it feels. Maybe I might see how Ike is in this one right off the bat. Otherwise, probably like uh, either Rosalina or Palutena. I am Groot. I am Groot. Good response. Jupiter asked that. Uh, let's see. What do you think of the Darksiders games? Interesting games. At least, like the first one I've played a bit of. I kind of like it. Even though it's basically just an amalgamation of other games into one, I kind of like the idea of it. See, I probably will get Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. I just wish it was on console instead of just handheld. Look at this! Look at this dude! Look at this dude with his monocle. Bananas yeah, I... on this island are all for me, the great scientist Dr. Badboon! People of the Jungle Island, if you hate me, you will starve! Still no lesser Lucas for Smash 4. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be in it. Uh, I'm, sh I'm sure one of them will be in there. Have you considered putting more stream stuff on YouTube, considering all the Twitch changes? Yeah, I'm going to be moving them all to YouTube for private, for, and then I'll probably start cutting them up after. Chopping them up. What do you think TRG will do a Smash 4 tournament? That seems like it'd be very off in the future. Uh, I'd say at least E3. Not E3. Uh, PAX East. PAX East would probably be the earliest you would see a Smash 4 tournament. Mm. Have you ever played Five Nights at Freddy, John? No. Or Five Nights at Freddy's. What uh, the fuck is happening on screen right now? People wonder when the next uh, Bomber, Bomberman X Zero Night would be. Oh, okay, yeah, I meant to mention this earlier. Um, second stream this week is going to be Baz, and I'm thinking of doing a tournament again. Should we do another Baz tournament? 
Or would you guys just rather just whatever? John is Chugga finally learned how to cook. No. I can say that with confidence. Looks like a lot of people are, say, uh, are wanting attorney for Bomberman X Zero. Which means they need to pick up another copy of that. Oh man, it's been so long since they played Monkey Ball. Forgot how weird the turning was, or could be. Any advice for a first uh, for a first goer to college who's leaving for college this Friday? Have fun. It college is all about making social connections with people and having a great time. You'll always be able to fuck. That too, actually. You'll always be able to fuck. That yep. that too, actually. Uh, <laughs> you will always be able to find someone with similar interests. So it's very easy to make friends in college. Anything you were embarrassed to reveal about yourself in high school, you could probably reveal to people in college and they'll still accept you. That too. <laughs> Tom. I'm sorry, Wob. <laughs> uh, let's see. Have any of your, uh, your past streams gotten flagged yet? Um, not that I don't I've send out e they don't send out emails, so you just have to check. Not that I've seen. I've looked through some of them that I expect to be eventually tagged, though. They'll eventually get tagged, regardless. Yeah, so. One of my uh, one of my more recent ones got a. Uh, actually, the one I recently streamed got tagged, and I was just playing Mario Kart. Oh, I don't uh, know if it was just a Nintendo thing or not. Oh, actually, I can tell you what got tagged. Um, our Top Town Perspective episode. Oh yeah, that all audio or that oh, all uh, all voice one, no okay. music. Yeah, that plan of flying up to get that bunch of bananas was a terrible idea. I'm glad I tried it. Let's see. I'm actually not even sure how you'd grab that now, and I think about it. I'm new to doing LPs. Any advice? Consistency. Yeah. Easily. Okay, banana trying is a bad idea. Let's just do the stage. Post often and post on a schedule. Um... The way that YouTube's algorithm works is actually beneficial if you post at least least three times a week, I believe. Then you get higher search results and YouTube will make sure to actually tell your subscribers when you upload a video. So, as a result, I am fucked beyond repair whenever I do put up a video. Man, I've been posting like two to three videos a day, although not recently because I haven't recorded in a while. The algorithm is... And the algorithm cares more about like overall like time viewed on a video, like if they've watched the entire video. So there's a lot of... A lot of interesting ways to game the system, or at least pay attention to things. Uh, Matt Pat does a lot of good videos on that, to be honest, because that's kind of his real-life job. Oh, the uh, the game theory guy? Yeah. Uh, Rico, John has already been a guest on Derps Against Humanity twice, once in live action and once on the uh, the regular show. 